Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video today. Um, right now, I don't have a, you know, a straightforward game plan for today, but I had the idea of grabbing some mullet and looking for some tarpon. But uh, first step of that is finding some mullet. And the first spot I went to, I don't see any mullet. So not seeing them here kind of lets me know where they might be next. I know a good spot to check next. Um, but yeah, after that, we're gonna go find some tarp and hopefully some decent ones in the river. It should be uh, like prime time for them right now. Honestly, I haven't spent much time looking for them. I was this close to going off the beach and looking for them today, but the wind kind of wind kind of spooked me off. So we're gonna uh, move spots here and go look for uh, look for the mullet. I haven't fished like straight tarpon in a while. I think that's what I really want to focus on today. is just straight tarpon. So we'll see how that'll go. But let's find some mullet first. I gotta I gotta pick up and move to the next spot. All right, well, it didn't take very long at all, but I found a huge pod of them right behind me here. Looking for the ones that are about six to eight inches. Those are my favorite for tarpon. We're gonna throw my eight foot net here. Probably grab about, um, maybe about 15 that can fit in this five gallon bucket here. And uh, we'll be off on our way looking for tarpon and maybe some snook as well, that would be nice. Usually they hang out in the same areas, but let's grab some mullet. All right, first cast knocked out about four or five, even a little mahara in there. I'll throw them in the bucket as well. That would be good for snook. Even tarpon, I'm sure a tarpon would eat a mahara, but it's not bad. We'll probably take two or three more casts and then we'll be solid. That's a nice snook. You get it? Yep, I got him. Got him. Nice fish right off the bat. Let's hope I got him good. Nice fish right off the bat. I saw a little wake to my right as I'm just kind of cruising the shoreline looking for whatever. A little wake and I turn and look and I see the snook just sitting right there in uh, basically up in the grass here, up on the rocks. So toss the mullet right on him and he instantly inhales it, comes back again and smashes it again. Got it on the second try. So oh, don't go into the trolling motor. It's a decent fish. Definitely a decent fish. Looks like he's about 24 maybe, 23. I'll measure him. My guess is he's 20, 23. Nice fish. Got a good hook set too. Nice fish. Good first fish. To be honest, that's a good one to start off on. Beauty. Leave him here in the water for just a second, but pretty healthy fish. Go ahead and uh, I'll lay him here on the ruler. I wanted to kind of entertain my guess here. I said 23. I'll lay him on my Castaway Customs ruler here. So that nose is on zero there and all the way back to actually 20, almost 27. So that was, I was way underestimating this fish. I typically do that. I try to underestimate so I don't hurt anyone's feelings by <laughs> saying I'm over exaggerating, but not a bad guess there. Nice fish. Very nice fish. Absolutely bigger than I thought. I sent him off there. It's a good one. Good one to get started. Haven't seen any tarpon yet, but I'll take that. I'll take that. Where there's one, there should be more, so it's good to see. Oh my god. My. Oh! Dude, I thought that was a snook. It was about 45 inches long sitting right there. It was a monster gar 
He got away with my mullet. Luckily, he didn't break me off or anything. Monster Gar. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that. That car was like this wide. He was probably 30 pounds. For like the split second, I tossed to him. I thought it was a snook. And then as he came up to it, I was like, ah, oh, this ain't a snook. That would have been a crazy catch, though. I don't know if I would have even wanted to deal with him. I'm kind of glad he just slipped off right there. Grab ourselves another bait here, a little mullet. Go through the nose. All right, let's find something that's not a gar. Still have yet to see any tarpon rolling, but I'm sure they're gonna show up soon. Couple nice snook right here. I guess I'll, oh, I gotta go for the bigger one. Going for the bigger one. Oh, come on, eat it. They're looking at it. Oh, they're all over right here. Bunch of snook, bunch of big snook. Oh, he didn't eat, come on. Oh. Turn back, turn back, he's looking at that mullet. You gotta be kidding me, these snook are being little babies. Whoa, big tarpon, big tarpon just came by. No way! No way! No way! Right in front of the boat! <laughs> Dude, there's no way! That was like one in a million right there! I'm sitting there focusing on, uh, sitting there focusing on Snook. I'm throwing one after the other. <laughs> one after the other, throwing at Snook. And I just look to my right and there's like this 15, 20 pounder just swimming right next to the boat, lay it on him and just inhales it. He ate right there. There is no way, no way that just happened. Man, that is lucky. The timing of that was incredible. Incredible. I'm gonna play him a little bit loose here. I just cannot believe that. I just looked to my right and I'm like, oh my gosh, tarpon right here. I wonder if he just came in from uh, outside or was he running the shoreline or how that happened, but nice fish in some crystal clear water here. It's a good tarpon. He's gonna give me a jump here. Nope, no jump. I'll take it. That's what I was looking for today. Took me a little while. I just can't believe I got, it, got it, my first tarpon bite in a foot of water, pretty much, a foot or two. I can't believe that. He is real fat. This is a real fat fish for the length. Beauty. Alright, we're going to try to get this fish right here. Really, really heavy. Haha. <laughs> How about that? It's summertime. It is summertime. I can't. I just can't believe it, man. I was seeing snook after snook right there along the shoreline. I was like, I'm going to get one of these. But they weren't, they didn't want the mullet, it was weird. That is epic, that is a great sized river tarp. I'm gonna say this fish is probably 25 pounds. It's a real heavy fish for its length. I mean, real heavy. It's gonna be, yeah, 25, that's my best guess on this one. See if we can get the land right here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. All right, nope, it's so close. This is what a strong fish will do to you. They'll kind of dog you at the end. I really need two hands on this fish. It's like that size. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, I'm gonna be really quick with this fish. But yeah, beautiful 25, maybe even 30 pounder, I would say. Really, really heavy. Really heavy fish. I'm gonna be real quick with this one because I think my camera is actually about to die. I'm gonna try to pop him out. That fish, that fish was not gonna shake that. I'll tell you what. All right, that's that, just popped it out there. And we're just gonna steer this fish with the current, or not with the current, but 
with the trolling motor here. I'm just gonna keep this fish in the water the entire time. Beautiful tarpon. It's very good practice to keep them pretty much entirely underwater the whole fight. Yep, there we go. Or the whole, you know, the landing process. <sighs> All right, well, there you have it. There you have it. That was, oh, that was, that was awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think you guys could see that clear as day. That tarpon just came up next to the boat. I looked to my right and I was like, oh my gosh. And uh, just threw in front of it and it's like it didn't even know I was there. It makes me wonder, like, you think I was a manatee? I mean, surely that fish had to know something was right next to him that was big and moving, but didn't care at all. Just chased the mullet at the boat, inhaled it. Awesome fight. That was a uh, good release as well. Always do your best to try to keep the fish almost entirely in the water. Um, if you want, you can maybe lift just a little bit just for a picture or um, whatever you need to do to get the hook undone, but try to leave those fish in the water. That was that was uh, a beautiful tarpon. So, well, we got one good, uh, one decent snook and we got a decent tarpon. I've been seeing quite a few snook as well. So we're gonna go ahead and re-rig back up. I might need to retie my leader and keep fishing the shoreline, keep having a good day. Let's do it. All right, I just spotted a nice snook up shallow right here. I'm, I'm ready for one, it's been a little while. I better hit him now, I better hit him now. Is he gonna see it, is the question. Oh, he's on it. Oh! There it is. There it is. That was a good eat. Good eat. Oh boy, good eat. That was a subsurface snook eat. It's a nice fish. Some big rocks right here. Don't want him to get up in there. I don't know if he really can, but... Oh, there's an even bigger snook right there as well. Check that out. Yep, there he goes, and then we got this one on right here. That was perfect. Yep, that hole right there, I didn't want him in. Oh, he's going up under those rocks. Got a reverse here, that's what I need to be doing. It's a good fish, really good fish. There's the mullet he ate right there, too. <laughs> That's a good one. A lot bigger than I kind of thought. Good fish. How strong. This guy looks like he's going to be about slot, maybe 29 inch or... Look at that mullet. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. Looks like we got a pretty good hook set. Oh, come on, Snook. I don't like how I got him right there. He could probably fray me. Got him! Got him! Yeah, like I said, looks like he's about 29. I'll tell you what, that fish earlier, if that one was 27, he's absolutely at least 29. Well, beautiful midday snook there. Um, I think it's about 11.30. It has been a little while since I kind of had an opportunity at a snook. A lot of them that I had been seeing were acting pretty smart. But this one? No, this one was not all that smart. Inhaled the mullet. <laughs> Inhaled it, but beauty. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the water and uh, it's a good one, really good one. Nice fight too around those rocks. All right, so that is the reason I use 40 for fish like this. And that's that. Beautiful fish, we'll go ahead and just Hold them in the water here, revive them, spin them around, send this fish right back towards the rocks. Yep, there he goes. All right, it is, yeah, it's 11.45 actually, so that is the third or fourth fish of the day. I kind of can't remember, but not bad so far, not bad. I like it right now. The sun is right on top of me. It is glass behind me, so we got a nice shoreline to fish, and I think I'm going to get it some water because <laughs> it is so hot out here. And I'm gonna eat my lunch real quick. And then we'll get back to fishing. There was another nice, nice fish right next to that one too. Probably if I hadn't seen that one, I would have seen the bigger one. Really, really curious as to whether the bigger snook would have eaten, but that was cool right there. Just led him right in front of him, about six feet. And uh, that mullet just wiggled right there and that snook came across it and inhaled it and fight was on. But yeah, I'm gonna eat and a good day so far. 
real, real, real big snook. This would be the biggest of the day right here, like a 32, 33 right here. Super shallow and crystal clear, crystal clear water. Let's cross our fingers. I'm gonna make a cast at him. Oh, my mullet came off. Yep, and he just ate my mullet. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me, man. I threw my mullet on, off on accident. Let's get him another one. I cannot believe I just did that. Oh, he's way up there, way, way, way up there. Oh, he's U-turn, he made a U-turn. All right, he's not entirely spooked, that's good. Oh, there's two actually. There's one right here, one right there, actually a third one right there. I'm gonna go for the one that's in the middle. Yep, 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 yep. All over it. Oh no, the mullet's kind of super quick. He hears it, he hears it. Oh, he's chasing the other mullet. <laughs> Ready? Ooh! Oh no! No way! Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. He bit the braid and frayed the braid. Dude, he, he didn't bite the mullet. He missed the mullet, I know that for sure. But he got the braid when he swung and hit the mullet and he frayed it. He frayed it, I watched that whole thing. That was weird. The mullet got away, that mullet's gotta be swimming around here with the, uh, with that line on his back. Cause I know he didn't get the mullet, he missed it. Oh, there's a snook right here. I guess I'll throw the three inch at it. In the meantime, let me see if I can kind of throw him off here. No, he's not. Oh. Dude, the way that just happened had to have been one of the unluckiest things that I've ever had happen in fishing. The mullet goes flying off and the snook inhales it. All right, I gotta retie right here. That's unlucky. When he bit the line, or when he, he swung on that last bait, I felt, him, I felt him hit the line. I said, man, did he just get the line? And he took off. I can't believe the timing of that, man. That's really just super unlucky, but quick Alberto right here, and we'll get back out there. I don't think that, there's still a fish in there that just has no idea what's going on. I think it's that first one. There was a group of three at least up there. Here's that fish in the tree in the tree up in the shadow here. Something. Oh, it's a smaller one. Nope, that's a decent fish. But it is the smaller one. These fish are super hyped up. Come on, eat it, man. He might have got smart after all the casts I've thrown at him, but... Oh! I think he got a little smart here. He's going up shallow. Oh, come on, come on! He wants it, man, he wants it. Doing 360s on it. He might not eat, too, because he just ate. Oh! <laughs> He's gonna get it. Right in front of the boat. Dude, he's right here. Dude, so close to getting him to bite. I think he knows I'm here now. Yeah, he's nose. Smart fish. Got one bite out of him. Got one bite, yep. Oh, man. All right, come on, there's fish everywhere. Give me a bite. There's a snook up there, it's not super big, but I'll take him. Looks like he's about a 24 incher. Real shallow. Oh, that's it, yeah. Yep, got him. Got him. I'll take it. Not the 33, 34 that I had been seeing, but I'll take it. Good fish to sight fish. Real shallow up there. It's a really, really dark snook. This fish is, I mean, dark, dark, almost black, I'd say, on the back, and the yellow is like a burnt, burnt, dark yellow. Good fish, good fish, good fish. Not the big one, man. 
Not that 33. Oh, he's barely hooked. Barely hooked. I think this is the third snook of the day. He's good. It's a good fish. Like I said, what did I guess? 24? Let me put him right on the measuring tape real quick and see what he actually is. 25. 25. Alright, put him right back in. Good one, but man, I wanted that one that was 32, 33, that much bigger fish. Pretty, pretty fish, yep, there you go. All right, still got a handful of mullets, so we'll keep fishing, keep fishing. All right, so like Florida does a lot, it just switches up real quick, and now the wind is blowing like basically onshore, so it's really rough where I was fishing. I can't see a single thing, so I'm gonna kind of just pick up, head back to the car, and uh, hopefully it'll be okay. It's just white capping, and that came out of nowhere like so quick. So I'll see you guys back at the car. All right, we'll just got off. Well, actually, I got out of the water. I gotta go pick the boat up now and uh, head home. But man, what a day. I mean, we, there was, I mean, how many, I think I got three or four snook, like one good one. Um, and then that tarpon was really just the highlight of the day. I had, I saw plenty of fish today. I mean, I'm pretty surprised I didn't do a lot better fishing live mullet. Um, sometimes it's just weird like that. Um, I did have a couple pulled hooks and um, yeah. It was, uh, and the, wind, the weather switched up on me there, so I felt like I probably could have had one or two more good fish at the end. I had that weird interaction with the, the snook where I threw the mullet at it and it flew off my hook and the snook ate my mullet and then I, I got another bite, but I ended up getting frayed off by the snook's mouth. It was a weird situation, but that tarpon, man, that was awesome. That was awesome. Please hit the like button for that. That was incredible. Tarpon right at the boat. Nice fish, heavy fish, and uh, it was just a really fun day. So if you guys enjoyed this video, live mullet, snook fishing, and tarpon fishing, and really fishing for whatever, I should say, click the like button, please. Um, let me know down in the comments um, as well what you guys thought. And thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video and watching it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.